Hello everybody, welcome back to another Matplotlib 3D tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be building some skyscrapers. Not really, but that's what it's going to look like. So, anyway, let's go ahead and hop right on into it. The first thing that we're going to want to do is import the necessary imports. And these imports are going to be from mpl underscore toolkits dot mplot 3d import axes 3 capital D. Next, we want to go import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and then import lovely numpy as np. As we get further into all these kinds of tutorials, you're going to start to really just adore the creators of numpy. There's so many cool things in numpy that just make life so much easier. Continuing on, figure equals plot figure, nothing new there. And then we're going to define our axis 1 equals fig.add underscore subplot. And it's going to be 1, 1, 1. And a projection equals 3D. Nothing new here besides, obviously, the 3D uh, tutorial section. Um, so what I'm going to do here, is, and kind of explain right before I start coding this, is with the bar chart, it's not the same as a plot. Like with the plot chart so far, we've had an X, a Y, and a Z. That was it, really, because a plot is just literally a singular position on a chart, whereas a bar chart um, really has more than just X, Y, Z. It's got like an X, Y, Z, and then like another X, Y, Z, and probably the best way to say this is like an X, Y, Z, and then you've got a delta X, delta Y, delta Z, right? How much, has it, how much is it from that one plot? And then it changes a little bit to another plot, right? So, for example, you've got, so if, if you don't quite get the delta part, then it's where do you start your X, Y's, and Z's, and then where do you end the X, Y's, and Z's. So if you're not quite uh, following just yet, luckily, this is all completely visual. <laughs> so if you don't quite understand just yet, you'll be able to kind of toy around, and I'll do a little bit of toying around to kind of drive that point home. Um, otherwise, just play with the numbers a little bit and see what, like different visualization pops up for you and uh, you should have no problem kind of discerning uh, what's going on. So with that let's go ahead and continue. We're gonna have, these are gonna be our starting um, our starting positions, right? So you're gonna have x position equals and then let's make this easy, we'll just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and a 10. Next we have y position, y starting point. Now we're going to do 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, uh, 6, 2, 1, 7, and a 2. Now the next thing you have is a Z position. Now, first I'm going to show you guys the literal looking Z position. And then I'm going to come through and show you guys from now on the way you ought to do this. But in order to understand exactly what we're coding, this is what we're going to go ahead and do. Just fill it with zeros. Next, um, and you might know the proper function to do this, uh, but I do suggest you just fill it with zeros for now so you can follow along with the tutorial um, because the position does uh, matter for this tutorial. The next thing uh, that we want to do is define our changes, our delta x, delta y, delta z, and so on. So we'll say uh, delta x equals, um, and for this we're just going to say, uh, one, but there is a function for this built into numpy, which you just do np dot ones, and then you specify how many you want, and we want ten because that's how deep our array is. So what this is going to do is for dx, it's going to assign an array of ones in the length of ten. So now we're going to do the same thing with delta y. It's going to be equal to np ones ten, and then we're going to do delta z. And just to kind of uh, make this an interesting looking chart, we're going to go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. And also, again, this is so it's a little easier to follow along and understand what's going on here if you don't already. So now we want to actually plot this. So plotting is AX1.bar3D. So it's just, you know, 
we're gonna it's almost just like AX one dot plot, right? It's just bar three D tells it, hey, we're gonna we're gonna throw this funky stuff at you. So X position, Y position, Z position, delta X, delta Y, delta Z. And you could just do this, but let's add some color to it, and make it pretty. We're gonna say color equals and in here, as always, you can always uh, put in a hex code. So we're going to do 00CEAA. It's going to give us kind of like a lightish blue, <clears throat> almost like a cyan, probably. And plot show. So save that. We'll run it. Hopefully, we ain't getting any typos. I hate when I typo charts. Nope. So here is our 3D chart. Looks awesome. Now, to give you an idea about a couple of things before we change things up. Um, first of all, as far as like scrolling around and zooming is concerned, it's all the same that we've already kind of covered. Um, so anyway, the next thing I'd like to show you guys, because I've zoomed, now it's not on the bottom. Let me see if I can get the zero back on the bottom. There. Okay. So now let's see if I can get to the point. Yeah. So see this, how they line up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and real, there is a ten, I promise. There it is. So... The, what's happening here, this is our delta variable, right? Remember that, that delta change we bought back over here, delta x, delta y, delta z? See how we did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Now what if we did um, 10 here, and now we'll save that, we'll rerun it, bought back over, and all of a sudden, no doubt, this one's messing up, it's not part of the steps. This is your, suddenly these stairs are unusable. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's the delta x. Um, that hopefully you can start to understand delta x now. Now, what if we're going to return that back to five? Now, the other thing I was saying was about these positions. Um, now, normally you would just say you would, for the z position you would use the np zeros because right all we really wanted was a bunch of zeros. So for Z position, and the reason we want a bunch of zeros, actually, let me go ahead and just show you that. Let's replace this with a 3. Now we'll save that, we'll run it, and you'll see one of these, yep, uh, one of these stairs now starts at the 3. Obviously we're not seeing, let me see if I can zoom in, yeah, now we got the 3 there. So as you can see, it's starting at 3. So the Z, um start point is a three and it's still changing by a delta of four right but it starts at three and it goes all the way up to seven so just to give you an idea so like if you want to do like a stacked bar chart like i mean that's a valid way to do uh, bar charts then you would want to utilize the z positions but if you're not doing a stacked bar chart then you would really just do mp zeros and you want 10 of those save that and you would run it and sure enough we're back to our you know steps our beautiful steps so anyway um, that's how you would how you would uh, go about doing uh, either a stacked bar chart or just a regular bar chart so I, assume, I, I imagine a lot of you guys just want to start at zero for Z but it's really helpful to know that you can start at four right and then you can start building stacked 3d bar charts epic stuff so anyways, as always, thanks for watching, thank you for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.